Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. In today's video, we're going to be going over the cylinder identification on a Ford 3.7 liter Duratec V6. This particular engine has been used on Mazda, Lincoln, and Ford vehicles for many, many years now. And to help you with the orientation of this particular engine here, uh, this is a view of the engine as if you're standing in front of the vehicle, in front of the bumper, looking at the engine compartment. Now this particular engine that you're looking at is transversely mounted. The 3.7 liter also is used in applications where it's longitudinally mounted, but this one's transversely mounted, so the front of the engine is actually going to be on the passenger side where the accessory drive is. So that's the very front of the engine, and then the back of the engine is going to be where the transmission is located at right here. And the cylinder identification is as follows. On the back row of cylinders, or on the right side of the engine, you're looking at cylinder number one, two, and three. And just for bonus information, this row of cylinders is also known as bank one. And on the front row of cylinders, you're looking at cylinder number four, five, and six. And this is also known as bank two. And this would be considered the left side of the engine. And I'll explain the whole left and right side of the engine thing here in just a moment. Now this information also applies to vehicles that have this particular engine mounted longitudinally from front to back, like say on the F-150. Of course we could just rotate this image 90 degrees counterclockwise and we could still use this image as an example here. But where the accessory drive is, or the serpentine belt, instead of that being mounted on the side of the vehicle or on the passenger side, it would actually be mounted towards the front of the vehicle now. And the back side of the engine, where the transmission is, would be actually towards the rear, or going towards the rear of the vehicle. So now with the engine mounted longitudinally, cylinders number one, through three would be on this side or the right side and then cylinders number four through six would be on this side or the left side now as you're looking at it right here i know that i called the left side of the engine as you're looking at it the right side and the right side of the engine the left side i know that can be a little confusing for some folks so i'll explain real quick the right and left side of the vehicle are determined from the point of view as if you were sitting in the driver's seat. Of course, you put a, a line straight down the middle of the vehicle and everything to the left of that line would be left and everything to the right of that line would be right. So the video is actually showing the, the image of this engine as if you were standing in front of the vehicle looking at the engine. So it's opposite. So folks, there you go. This is very useful information, especially when it comes to diagnosing cylinder-specific trouble codes or injector-specific trouble codes. You need to know what cylinder to look at or to know what components to look at on any particular cylinder that could be causing that particular diagnostic trouble code. And knowing the location is half of the battle right there. So folks, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Also, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify, and that's where I do that. And also, please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. Like and subscribe.